Good morning, Patriots. Today is Wednesday, February 15, and this is your Patriot Press News. My name is Freddie Hernandez, and here are the announcements for the day. Patriots, we have some of your clubs meeting today, so make sure to check them out. Spanish Club will be having a first meeting on February 15th during both lunches. First lunch will be in W116, and second lunch will be in W210. BSU will be having its next roundabout today. First lunch in W203, and second lunch in L106. Make sure to make your way to continue our celebration of Black History Month. Hey guys, I'm Zoe, your guys' FFA chapter president. This week, we're celebrating our chapter's FFA week, and we're so excited to spend it with you guys. Today is the day of our February chapter meeting, so be sure to come out to J103 during your lunch and stay for the whole meeting to get your 25 FFA points. And a fun fact about FFA, California FFA just hit 100,000 members in its membership, all those members being overseen by our state officer team. Well, who's on the state officer team, you might ask? Well, our state vice president is actually an alumni from Heritage High School, our very own Landon Hendricks. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you have an amazing FFA week. Congratulations to our mock trial team, as last week they had two matches, bringing home the win against Liberty on Tuesday and Palm Desert this past Saturday. Special congratulations to Elizabeth Ayers, who portrayed the defendant Jordan Franks this year. Liz won a Blue Ribbon Award, Civil Medal, placing second in Riverside County for her portrayal of the defendant. For a student to win this award, he or she must have been nominated by several authority scores for outstanding performance. Congrats, Liz. Here at Patriot News, we're happy to bring you Student of the Month interview now. Hey Patriots, we're here with our February Student of the Month, Genesis Morales, and we have some questions for her. Our first question is, what does it feel like to be Student of the Month? It's a very accomplishing feeling because I'm the one that goes every month to film this event. So being behind that podium, giving a speech and having people acknowledge and recognize me was a very awesome feeling. And I'm very grateful for this experience. That's a good answer. Our second question is, what did it take to become Student of the Month? Well, what the people around me have told me is that I'm a very positive person being like all around campus and that I love to stay involved and help everybody. So what I would say is just to have a good attitude and be willing to be there for others. It's very inspirational. Our last question is, what legacy do you hope to leave on campus? I honestly just hope that I was able to create a more positive environment for the people that were around me, that people were able to trust me and that I was able to bring memories to my friends and just the people that I and, uh, surround myself with because I know they definitely gave me amazing memories. And also just showing people that it's okay to step out of your comfort zone because I used to be a very closed off person, but once I finally let go, I just started experiencing, experiencing things so much better. Wow, I really like that answer. All right, thank you, Genesis. And that was our February Student of the Month. Yay! Need something to do over the break? Come and play with robots. From February 12th to the 24th, your robotics will be having opening their room each day from 9 to, to noon. Get a chance to build mazes, obstacles, games, and much more. Find a poster around campus now and scan the QR code to sign up. Seniors, there are only seven days of school left to help with your financial aid applications. It is due March 2nd. If you need help, please come to the College and Career Center in W112. Also, if you have submitted your application, you will be invited to the FAFSA Fiesta on March 8th. Prizes include gift cards, prom tickets, grad nights, and much more. Patriots, yearbooks are still on sale at yearbookforever.com. We need a lot more photos for seniors for the yearbook and the senior slideshow. Please submit photos by using yearbook snap app with code PATRIOTS. Sign-ups for Patriot Olympics are quickly approaching the deadline. Make sure to check your emails for all the forms needed now. Oh my gosh, Reese, what is that? Those are the new trophies for the Patriot Olympics. Oh, right. If you would like a chance to win one of these amazing trophies, make sure to sign up for Patriot Olympics. The deadline is March 2nd. We also have a new addition to the Patriot Olympics called Human Foosball. We hope to see you there. That's all our announcements for today, Patriots. We hope you have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.